Cyber Ninja Online guys, welcome back to Two Worlds. Um <laughs> Chapter 21. I remember that part, but I don't remember what we last did. It's been about a week or so since we last played. Um just like all the other times, I'm just gonna do a kind of generic overcap here. Let you see everything, the stats, the inventory, and then uh we'll resume for wherever we left off. Here's our um I'd say our stats right now, so our, our health. Dexterity, strength, and uh, willpower. You can add it up there if you want. We're level 28. Max health, mana, attack percentage, defense percentage. We got a pretty good defense percentage. Um, we maxed out lock picking, maxed out strong hand, we've maxed out fast drawing, and starting drawn. I think we were working on precise shooting. Oh, wait. No, we're working on alchemy next. That's right, because we just got alchemy. Um, one of the things I remember I said I was going to do in the last video was clear my inventory completely of all the alchemy ingredients. And just kind of do that once uh, every time we finish recording. And that way I can fill this up. Because I can carry up to 224 pounds. And my gear only weighs about 64 right now. So I'm pretty confident I can fill the whole backpack here. Which is two pages. It's hard to tell. But it's like take this and just bring it over here. Um, but in any case. So having less alchemy ingredients will definitely help. Uh, I'm quickly going to go over my gear. Obviously, you see that, and we'll find out where we left off. So, I got great helm with gold fittings. Uh, white hero half plate. Huberk? Huberk? I don't know. Necro armored trousers. Uh, ornamented quiver. Beaver tail dwarf dagger. King's wooden shield. White thorns full plate armored boots. Uh, uh, gold plated rib gloves. And if I remember correctly, so these are part of a set. Nothing else, though. Uh, gold ring with stone, that's what it does. Silver seal ring, gold seal ring, and a silver ring with stone, so a bunch of different rings. We got the eye catcher, <clears throat> does spirit damage. Uh, we got saber tooth, and we got the death giver. Magic there, restores 21 uh, HP, 2100 health points, which is over half my health points. It doesn't cost that much. It only costs 60, and our max is, what, 302? So that's actually really good. Oh, I remember the last, uh... Which one was it? Um... The Missing Sun quest. I knew it was over here from what I remembered, and he was. He's actually, like, just over here. So if I would have explored that area a little bit more, I think it's, like, right here. Then, um, I would have found him. So actually, we're going to go over there and do that first. And then we're going to continue on from there. So the last thing we're going to do before I bore you guys to death with no action. I'm just going to show you this chest. And uh, this is where I have everything. So dagger is actually way better. So we're going to equip that. The filigree elven dagger. But yeah. So all my uh, alchemy ingredients. All the uh, enchantment stones. Everything's in there. So... Alright, so yeah, first things first is we're going to finish that missing sun quest. Because like I said, I did remember him being over here, and, and in fact he was. We just uh, didn't go further enough, I guess for lack of a better word. There shouldn't be much on these paths, except for maybe some ghost animals now. I say Looks as one like spawns up. Laws. On right on. So we're about to head about northeast here, up this trail. And then a little bit off the uh, the beaten path, as soon as I figure out where we are. So literally just straight, and it should be... If I keep going a little bit further, I should find it. Oh, there it is. Couldn't see where they were looking out for this ghost animal. What the hell was that? Did you see that? I shot, and it just kind of, like, acted as if I didn't have any drawing power on it. Grizzly bear over here somewhere. I don't know. I do not know. But yeah, the uh, the guy I'm looking for is somewhere over here in these mountains. Well, on this hill, I guess. It's not really a mountain. There it is right there to the right. So a little bit higher up than I was aiming for. Okay, so 
let's see what this guy has to say. Hardgrass Wisp. That's the guy we're looking for. Pardon my soul, a fellow mercenary. Have you come to finish what my people could not? Do I know you, mayhap? I am Hagrast Wisp, the leader of the most feared group of mercenaries in Catalonia, and one of the most hated men in Talmont. Or should I say, I am a former leader. What happened to your people? They left me two days ago. Left you? Just like that? Nay, are you daft, man? Do you believe I would lead a band of cowards? Nay, they believe they had killed me. I do not understand. Why would they kill their leader? Ask them. I do not know. Talmont is a strange influence on people. Mayhap tis in the air itself. And that wind! Does it ever stop its incessant moaning and howling? Hey, did you know that when I first heard of you, I was sure that Ulta Kaga had hired a Nekari to kill me? Amusing, eh? <laughs> Amusing indeed. But what will you do now? Pursue those who opposed you? Nay, no need. The extract of Brown Toadstool works slow when mixed with Scream or Badila, but there is no antidote. They are all dead in the tomb by now. Eh? I do not follow you. You cannot know everything, methinks. I was responsible for the protection of the Skeldon Mines. There were three Highlanders with us, all good with machines. But Miran, the youngest, could work wonders with his hands on machines. He could smell out a vein of valuable ore as a dog smells food. His friends did not have his talent, but their greed was great. Clan Karga convinced them to give evidence against the house, so I had to silence them myself. Mirren did not know anything, at least that was what I thought. <laughs> and when he came to us of late and told us about his new find, we suspected nothing. You killed his friends. Aye, he wanted revenge for that. I do not blame him. He lured us into the cave and tried to blow it up. The explosion was weak. Only I was wounded in the head, and the rest got out without a scratch. My men did not like that. When I woke up, he was already dead. I felt that something was wrong. But to suspect my own people... <laughs> Do you think he told them anything? Nay, more than likely he cursed them. You see how it ended up. You mentioned the tomb. What tomb is that? Ah, oh, my head still aches. Mayhap I did. Mirren used to speak of dwarven pre-war shelters and tombs. I told you, Talmont is a strange place. It does not like me, and I do not like Talmont. What will you do now, then? Me? I shall depart for the healthier air of the south. Mayhap we shall meet some fine day. Mayhap we shall. I think we have much in common, you and I. T'will be interesting that one fine day to see who has more. Pretty sure that's all we had to do. Um, Let me check my quest log, though. Yeah, so I can go back to uh, Tal or Tarbikeen and give it to him. Or give the, uh, the father the information, sorry. So that's what we shall do. I don't remember where we left off. I think we were heading north to uh, Clan Karga. I think that was the uh, the overall plan. Maliel Shrine. The Grom camp I've already taken out. It's going to be uh, crappy once we head to the south because you're going to miss this. I mean, there's a bamboo forest for the start, start or northern part of the south, but uh, it's not as pleasurable just because of the creatures that are in it. Super annoying and super tough. 
I'm hoping they, uh, I'm hoping they'll be better because I'm a ranged, ranged fighter. We'll stop in at this guy and sell him that dagger. There it is. Good idiot. Not looking to buy anything right now, though. Not right now. Can I help you in any way? No real reason to save the money except for to spend it on more or spend it on any gear or uh, trainers. But let's talk to this guy. It is good to see you again. Do you now know where my son is? I regret to tell you that your son is dead. What? Nay, what happened? Mirren knew of something that would have brought the House of Skeldon into disrepute. Hagrast was forced to kill him. What? what? House Skeldon? Killed my only son? They will pay for every moment of sorrow. I, they, will, pay. How Skeldon will pay dearly for the death of my son. That's what I thought. Fun fact, um, he's supposed to give you a quest to, uh, kill Eberrot Skeldon. Never mind, it's they fixed it. I know for uh before for before. Um I know before that they used to uh say that the quest would pop up but it would automatically complete. Which is kinda funny. Uh I don't really feel like going over to uh the excavations right now though. Just because of um There'll probably be a fair bit of talking. Oh, there we go. Turns out he probably died anyways. So no, I don't think they did fix it. Once you leave Tarbukeen, then the quest is just quote unquote solved. Easy enough. It's like the hangman. There's, I remember what we did last now, by the way. We were right here and I uh, cleared out that cave. And um, the next thing I was supposed to do was come over here to the necromancer's house. But we're passing through Covengore right now, so we'll... Talk to anyone in Kevin Gore that's interesting. I remember I just ran through Kevin Gore to this point, which wasn't far. But just so I can use the teleporter. I think there's only like one or two people. I know um the person for that moonshining quest is in this town. Well met. He's definitely a quest guy. I think he's looking for a uh, cargo clan You're though. New. Are you from Hagrest? Should I know him? Hmm. We just talked to him. You look like one of his men. Abrad Skeldon hired a group some time ago. Strong, they say. But for me, a waste of time and money. We must deal with our problems ourselves. The hell and got them are? in a spook. I serve the House of Skeldon, the Probably strongest wolf or something. and proudest of all yeah, the noble wolf. houses of Catalan. We rule in Talmont. Why are you here in this place then? <laughs> Hunting. Fuck. One of the woodcutters was a Karga leader, but he was warned and fled before we arrived. We just won't pay any attention to the background. Before we even move. They are as the wind. Who is this leader you seek? Gon Cronach. From the clan Karga. One of the villagers from Covengor told us his whereabouts for 20 gold pieces. I was told that the rebels have many loyal men in the villages. Peasants have no backbone. Rebels when they have to pay taxes. But you can always buy them for gold. It would seem that not every villager can be bought, or Karga would have been in your hands already. Aye, true. And that snake will be more cautious now. The only chance we have to catch him is to play his game better than he. You need someone the rebels would not suspect. Aye. You may have. Tis dangerous, but well paid. Interested? I'll take the mission. Tis good. The rebels are scum. 
But Khan Krana is different. Do not take him lightly. If you find him, you know what to do. We will hear of him no more. Um... I don't need to learn anything else. Farewell. Normally we would talk a little bit more, but we don't need to. Um, I think I do know where he is. I don't plan to do it, though. Like I said, I plan to help out the rebels unless someone in the comments wanted different. Let's see. So far, no one said anything, so. Now, I know I passed up a guy back there, and like I said, I'm that's busy, the, um... But just ask if you need anything. That's the uh, moonshine guy. I think there's supposed to be another person here, like another quest giver. Peculiar. Well, we'll talk to this guy and finish this quest, I guess. Welcome, traveler. Well met. Mmm, that strong smell tis alcohol. I thought it was banned in Tarbakin. Nay, tis but vinegar you smell. Your nose deceives you. Hold, tis not my intention to tell the guards, but I would like to know where you get it. Shh. I make my own, and even sell to those I trust. Can I trust you? You sell real spirits, not just wine or ale? Shh. I. But. I have a problem. I sent a shipment to Tarbakin some time ago, and it never reached its destination. And now I heard there is a bandit on the road. Have you no more? I will make some, but I am more worried about the road to Tarbakin. If it is unsafe, my trade will die. By the way, you look like a mercenary. You are one, hmm? I, I work for myself. So do some work for me, then. I love my armor. What kind of work? So nice. A favor for all us merchants. The guards do nothing apart from collecting taxes. So I, Dras Beklim, am prepared to pay you a considerable sum of money for making the road safe for travel. What do you say? I, I will take care of your highway robber for you. Where does he do this thievery? That bandit stopped my courier at the edge of the forest, outside Covengore. Mayhap a good place to start, hmm? Do not fret. I will find him. I have hired a confident man. Splendid. Goodbye, Drass. I hope you are always in good spirits. I, and Jesus. may you get some soon. Be any more discreet. All right. Um, I know where he is. He is right here. I didn't know that the map. I forgot they marked it on my map though. Okay, my saber tooth, which I think is T. Yeah, it's T. Just in case I need to fight anything up close. I don't think we have to fight him. I think we can talk him out of it. I think. But I can't honestly remember that part. I just remember that he was up here. Just around the bend. Am I not actually... Oh yeah, that is him. Never mind. Hold. Who's there? Only a sad traveler in search of good spirits. Haven't you heard that it's dangerous to travel alone? I can take care of myself. I'd say, look at me. Can you? Hmm. So we can get him to leave peacefully or we can fight him. You're the one who is in danger here. I advise you to pack up and move elsewhere. <laughs> what? Now you're in danger, Swordman. All right, let's see what you got then. I do not wish to fight you. This is your chance to walk away alive. If we do fight, one of us will not. Pray ask yourself, bandit. Will Maliel smile on me today? Aye, you mean it. I thought so. Well, let's do this your way. A wise choice. And what is this bag you carry, pray? 
the clink of bottles. Hmm. Care to share some good spirits with a new friend? Threaten me and then ask for my drink? You have a true neck of iron, friend. I <laughs> hear. Take him. I mean, realistically, if we were to fight, I don't know why my character's mouth is moving. If we were to fight, you think he was going to get past my fucking tower shield here? There's no way. Farewell, friend. What do you have, a stupid little club? Yeah, there was no way. He'd swing, I'd friggin' retaliate with my shield. I'd parry it and then friggin' slice and be dead. Regardless, though, crisis averted. I kind of wanted to fight and kill him, but meh. We'll let him walk away from that one. If we ever see him again, though, it'll be a different story. Chances are we probably won't ever. We got five right now. I think we can end up picking up five more. But we got to talk to this guy anyways to finish this quest. And I think... I don't know how many I need. Is the road safe now? Aye, the bandit is in robber paradise now. Splendid. And here is the promised reward. You seem in good spirits. Have you some for me? I sold my whole stock to Rillis Welgar. He lives here in Covengore. Goodbye, Drass. I hope you're always in good spirits. And may you get some soon. For the second time. So we leveled up. Let's go ahead and deal with that right now. Alchemy, that was right. I was like, what am I going to spend the point on? Let me see how many uh, freaking things I need anyways for this quest. Who wants ten bottles? Okay. That's what I figured. And we have 10 right now. So let's go and... I don't need any more extra moonshine bottles. So we'll go and turn this quest in. Take a little... Short little second here. Won't be that long. And I'll be free XP. So he can't be mad about that. We're still leveling up really fast. Which is nice. I mean, eventually, obviously, you expect it to slow down, and it will. It will. Yeah, Tarpakeen's nice. It's definitely not my favorite city, but it's nice. What of my goods? Do you have them? I got your shipment. Oh, well done. My men's mumbles and grumbles will end today. And their efficiency too, methinks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, I shall buy what you have, but without your opinions. Well, um, I must depart, friend. Godspeed. Just pay me, and I shall go. I like the glow on my bow. And my favorite uh, town in the game—it actually dies, unfortunately. You can bring everybody back, but once you bring them back, you can't uh, you can't interact with them. I'm pretty sure so. Everything else is either up this way or down to the south and whatnot, so. I was going to say, what the hell is that one? Never mind, I know what it is. Like I said, I won't do it. I'm pretty sure uh, the guy I'm looking for is the one that's to the south. That little house there. I think it is, anyways. Could be wrong. Been wrong before. We're gonna take this path and uh, head up to the. Uh, Good day to you. What did you say that is northwest? I'd say that's northwest. Uh, cemetery. Of course, that's the first thing we see. I doubt it's going to be empty. Well, there's taint shoots in there. That's interesting. See, if you do it during the day, usually you don't have to fight things, but... We need these uh, taint shoots for a quest, by the way. So you should definitely collect them as you uh, progress. I don't know where that wolf is, but we're just going to ignore it.
once we leave the uh I don't know if these wolves want to fight or not I was gonna say once we leave the influence for this um cemetery things will go back to normal Reapers great I don't actually remember what's at the end here. I don't think there's anything. That's for you. Let's have a look. Collect all these. All right, let's try this again. There we go. That doesn't look like there's anything here. Must not have been nothing. Fog hasn't gone away though, which is kind of upsetting. I thought it would have. Brief patch of light there. Ah, whatever. Up to the necromancer's hut we go. Make sure there's no wolves following me or anything like that. I don't know if it's this guy that uh wants the taint shoots or not. Looks like it's my lucky day. I wouldn't say it's my lucky day, I'd say it's their unlucky day. This guy's wearing full friggin' set of uh, full arm. Full armor beside me. There we go. Well, for the most part, anyways. I mean, let's see. He's definitely got the, uh, the same chest plate and leggings. You guys can definitely see why uh, archers are a pain in the ass. I almost thought this guy wasn't wearing pants at first. I was like, what? Alright, let's heal up and let's see what these guys got before I go talk to this necromancer here. Actually, I have the same uh, armor I did. And the same pants. Right on. Shit armor, but I'll take it. Power loot so I can sell. You know how the game goes. Uh, as long as I can, as long as I can still use a bow in the armor, it's usually good. This one is out though. Pants would have been fine, but that armor isn't. ahead and put that right on the bow see what I mean though I'm like half a page almost and I still can like take more opposed to if I had all that alchemy ingredients on me still Let's I, I probably would have been filled up by now all right so let's talk to this necromancer now guy has to say well met weary traveler how may I be of help are you Orm Varagor I but what do you want of me young man a very angry thief sent me to you he has to hide in a cave infested with your skeletons I the summons skeleton